but look at that sleep. Amber gonna walk out sure here. The drogo spot thing down, but that's it. Defo still finds a kill there. Okay, so it's just guns at dawn apparently, and Defo's is working a lot better than anyone else's. Gambit have just got the iron grip around G2's throat, and it's just Nookie left alive. He's been left very, very alone. He's still got the frenzy locked in, but at this point. He has no idea where anyone is. He has lost all control of the map, all of his teammates, and Nats is closing the gap, and the timing's perfect. For free. But uh, we'll have to wait and see how that Get develops, down. Kellogg's. As I say that, make me eat my words. Shados will fall off the rip, and it looks like G2 going to force the issue. Yeah, Oracle's got a good idea as to what's going on, and he does have support here in the form of the jet as well. Quick flash through <laughs> Defo. You are a lucky boy to even get that, but the pressure from G2 might just make some problems for Gambit. Trying to call the back of the side, having to wait this out. Flashed up, he was completely blind, trying to pre-fire, trying to get something done, giving him advantage, but no, G2's numbers simply overwhelming. But now those numbers are looking a little worse for wear. Bear in mind that Nookie is low HP and they don't have a great deal of a purchase to work with. They've gathered the weaponry left strewn across, but for now there's no armor with this. The utility will be lacking, and you're going to see if Gambit can maybe mount this retake. Let's see what they go for here. Smoke back sight, still one close to try and deal with Nats. First man four, but in great combination with Redgar, I am able to isolate Mixwell back sight, leaving Nookie, the player with the lowest HP, the last one alive, and they've managed to... The big gun coming out, and that's one way to at least push it off the angle. Cordamenta instantly going to pop, and now look for Kellogg's to try and open up the space, but damage has already been taken. 68 HP, quick flash comes through, and G2's quick hit may have lost a little bit of that punch here. We have to see if they can get a frag quickly, because Shados is still living just in the shadow of the wall. Mitchell has found Red Girl from above it. That's a problem. Shados might be feeling a little uncomfortable, but still has the support, and apparently Chronicle's going to hit that shot, is he? 8 HP, but he's still a problem, still a nuisance, and they still have now time for those rotations. Shados plays it so well, and Composure is once again maintained. Even with all that pressure, they took so much space towards that B site, Gambit instantly fall back into a slightly more passive position. <laughs> Definitely be a big scout to claim on the way. You want to fight it. Now, Seekers went in. We do have the Divide coming out as well. Lots of ultimates invested. It tries to clear the plant box, but no one's there. It's Shados waiting closer. Oh, that's beautiful. Shados. Shados just spins on a dime. Look at that that's guy. He's just not getting passed on this site. The support coming in perfectly from Nat. These two in sync in synergy. Gambit. Just not breaking a sweat into their anti eco is what they like to do, and he's in the right place for it. Bear in mind, we are seeing a lot of utility poured in, but he's still just fine until then. Mixwell breaks back through, and now there's potential opened up. Now they haven't cleared out Redgar. That's something to keep in mind. Kellogg's with a banger to find Shados. Rotation now cut off. Redgar with a miss, and now G2. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. They needed one of these, not one of those. And now Chronicle. Not Two. That's the pace at which they have to play to find entry and find success here. So thrift us that A piece again. This is still Oh my the timing. Oh, the timing. I would I'd be out of you can see Chronicle adjusting as well. And this time gets punished. Coldamenta gives them a taste of the medicine. Says no no no, no more of that nonsense. And and you can see the adjustment here. They're gonna leave at least one player towards cat, which is gonna be Mixwell, three leaning towards B, but that means now Ooh, Ooh Defo, that's that's a that's a punisher. Mixwell's now caused huge problems. They now can't rotate away from A. This is all gonna be towards that B side, but Nat's still good for one. His timing could not have been better to find Nookie, but still it's a two V two. This is still manageable for Gambit. The rotations will take time because of Mixwell's positioning. Indeed, you can actually see Redgar making his way all the way through top mid here, so Coldamenta got to be careful because Shados, what? like I said, is going to be given the 1v1 from Avova. Coldamenta now, the pressure's on, the res comes through, Nat's back on his feet, 1v3 for Coldamenta. And Redgar just feels like the final boss that you're never going to get past. He has to push now. Coldamenta's got no other option, and it's game on and it's game over. Shados I, is just not sweating. He's waiting to receive it. Oh, that's great. Depot's really got the feel for it now. It was a bit of a shocker on short last round, but he's made up for it now. The timing, he's slipped the net, but Nookie couldn't capitalize. Once again, falling off patiently, Nats has just read him like a bloody book, hasn't it's he? Uh, he's so good, and he's everywhere. Bear in mind on the anti ecos he's over towards A. He's sitting deep now towards CT on B. This boy is just all over the place. He's playing back on site, you know, deep and towards Boathouse on B sometimes, but no, the adjustments are there and a lot of faith in Chronicle. But G2 have been stuck in this position so many times and not been able to make what? it towards the site. Oh. You can't. Yeah, uh, the way this man plays chess, I'm going to start calling him Casper. But at this point, he's just 
<laughs> ridiculously talented. Now, we all seen that lean back in, but Naps, once again, here, still oh finding God, so man. much value. He is truly one of the greats at this so far. Is outdone, and G2 once again finding a little bit of success here. Their anti ecos are still deadly. They're super, super bursty. They can definitely do damage on this, but last time it was the post plant that caused them problems. And maybe the plant's causing a couple of issues here. Yeah, the blade storm off this actually, yeah, they swapped over to give Kellogg Back in through short, but a nice crossfire being held between Main and Kellogg's here. Oh. But he actually gets found and no trade offered. Cold Enter finds Chronicle, and now there's still a 2v2. Vova still expecting another towards heaven, but it's not. Building back in, trying to bait out that Sova who's sitting so patiently. Cold Amenta, Avova, they're so close to each other now. Avova trying to play the timing. They're on the site though. Avova tries to draw the attention, but he gets his head ripped off. E2 are pushing them in really unorthodox rounds. They are just handling it extremely well. And another adjustment here. We've got Jet pushed up towards A main. You're going to have this kind of close contact play from Redguard towards Shaw. Doesn't have to leave, but he's going to. Dips away. Going to use that judge. Maybe Lincoln Spirit is still here. You have a Vova finally put him down. So Control now being slowly worked away at by G2. Oh, he's under in a trouble. lot of pressure here. I only got one more cloud burst. No dash, and a Vova will find him. Chronicle with the Hunter's Fury from the back lines. I don't even think he got any damage there. Which was to slow that push towards Jen. Maybe help Defo out a little bit. Three members now stacked up. Let's see, Chronicle can find anything off this drone before it expires, actually. No, he's not. Oh, a lovely flash for Mixwell gives him so much potential. And look, what? Shados! You're not meant to win that! Just walks through the old, like, you know, the big boy coming into the site. Barely any HP building back up now, but Chronicle not able to find much from this. And look at the crossfire, look at these post plants. Two players in towards hell. Chronicle still found a Vova, but there's surely no chance of this. Surely, surely, surely! It's over and done with! He's closing the gap, but time surely. is everything! Oh my god, he's got the defused. Are you kidding me, Chronicle? Click on. Absolute iron giants the way these guys are playing Gambit. Just everything's just working. It's all working. Avova's gone, and, and we know what it's like when Avova's on. Keep that in mind. When Avova has a game, he clutches out, he gets you kills where you're not meant to, but it's Chronicle today who's having a game like that. Just finds Nookie on this, and it's three alive in a post part. Now, they do have some site control, but... Thank God, don't you do it to him. <laughs> nearly him. caught don't him in the drone. <laughs> don't be doing it to him. Chronicle again! Hypoc! This... Chronicle! Hypoc, what is he doing? How is he doing this? Uh, I'm terrified to see the rounds where Chronicle actually buys a rifle today, because uh, these are the, I mean, Mitch, this is like, Mitch, you know, it's GG go next, there's no no need to kind of call it something it isn't, but mix well. Fancy's start here, looking a little different, but still doing nicely enough, but it's all effective trades still for Gambit, who've processed towards the site, they've taken strides towards it, Spike now in the hands of Red Gar, going to be put down. And G2 with Kellogg's Nuki and Cold Amend to play it back through. Oh, yeah, Nuki actually going to get tagged up before he's got to back away. Kellogg's got a Sage Wall to deal with as well, and uh, and that's atop it. Yeah, for he's only going to have <laughs> two magazines left here. He does actually spot Nats up on the top of it. So Cold Amend going to try and clear through. Just can't find the angle here. Nats will find Cold Amend up. Kellogg's last man standing will find Nats for 10 HP. Nothing but a Constellation kill. Right here is Gambit about to put their 11th up unless Kellogg's has got something incredible up his sleeve. So again, it's very hard to get that judgment of who's where. But Gambit right now looking very much towards the top. Um, and yeah, this is still going unwaverably their way. Spike now in. And it's on G2 to do something about this. Mixwell happy to put himself as the first man forward. Takes space, good amount of room now to be worked with. Apparently not, Shados gonna find him and it's it's all so just simple it's like dominoes falling as now nookie again last man alive and you don't even get to have to go forward i can't wait to see how they you know, shape up compared to some of the other regions we have yet to see now again same prospect for g2 in a way they were the feared ones at the very start and now look how it's turned however at this point nookie finally trying to get himself in this forcing himself in but nats is having none of what he's trying to sell and nats just doing him dirty sound of chronicle against the over and Chronicle, <laughs> oh, about to be closed in on, there it is, a little drive-by, there it is. We'll get one at least. See here is... <sighs> Mitch Man spamming things about Odin's. Uh, um, even... <sighs> everybody right now, just do me a favour, you will all thank me in chat, just mute Mitch Man on Twitter. Anybody who does follow him, just mute for Look, the week. There's Seriously. a reason we call him Mute Man. Exactly.
the way as you can see chronicle creeping closer and closer nuki see holding nearby uh, chronicle just absolutely slaps him close flash oh no Go blind does he come out everyone's in time blind. everyone's blind uh, i was hoping he wouldn't have taken so much of that flash then maybe getting away with a second less two seconds less but even with you know the astra utility and everything else it really didn't matter sights there as you said the problems would occur if maybe just nookie was caught out but obviously mixwell in the same position and now staring just down the barrel of a gun three players on the retake two rifles though of over and kellogg's can do work here they need a pick to provide itself soon. Nats is still just sitting towards hell. He's not worrying about a thing at the moment. Of Oba now gonna start working in, but look at the damage. Good start from Kellogg's. Redgar's gone and now they need some more. Spam comes in. Kellogg's gonna try and find some safety, but it's Nats. It's always gonna be Nats. And he does not coming out from G2. We're gonna see if we can find it already. Chronicle seems a little under pressure, but not too out of sorts so far. Kind of forced into an unfavorable position, but he's still alive for now. And he's got the support coming in of Redgar. So already support's on the way. Chronicle's still holding space. And G2 haven't been able to take the back lines of the site. They're still trying to protect that plant. But it's Shados right there, right in time to find so much damage. And it's already on the board. Gambit straight away get the pistol. There was a spike plant. <laughs> it's nastiness, isn't it? Look, he's red. Ooh, he still took a little bit of damage, but he... Bonus. Now, unable to find Nookie, who's still holding on to this. Shados. Oh, Nookie's on now. Redguard trying to close the gap. That's a rifle now garnered. How is he still alive over there? That's the thing that worries me. The Nat is still just lingering around here. Now there's a wall. There's... Sorry, excuse me. Two walls. He's still gone unnoted. Is there any way you can find a little bit of space? Oh, no, it's a Vova to find it. Very well done by a Vova. Kept composure and was kind of pretty curious. Where's... I'm on B main with Cold Amenta actually close by. G2 playing this very slow. Again, just waiting for Gambit to give something away. Yeah, and Nats is still in a good enough spot. Yeah, they didn't expect Nats to swing on that, but he only going to get Kellogg's for this. It does keep Defo alive, but the site will be lost, and they still maintain... A little bit of that late mid control, I think you're going to see Nookie left. kind of keeping track of that, but... Yeah, very, very patient from G2, almost very unlike them. Look at this, just pause for yeah. thought here, waiting for the ability to cross to come in. There's a wall going up, if we're going to get the plant. And that wall Spike preventing planted. any damage coming through the double box. We find ourselves now in a 4v4. If G2 can hold on here, we're going to play very close contact on the wall. Oh, <laughs> just got a perfect time in there for Mixwell to cross. I even get spanned out here. I mean, Mixwell just wants to draw a little bit of attention early on. I didn't even spot Redgar. Up here, he's going to find Nuki. Two kills come through. The no. third as well for Gambit. It, 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 it all looked so right for G2. How is it just Mixwell now? Pressure mounted. Shados finds him. I feel no if G2, way. you're sat there going, wow, no one's found a pick on us. We're yeah. sitting here perfectly pretty. But we're into the next one. I can't sit back and wait because we actually have a bike coming out as well for G2. It's a little weak around the edges and Chronicle's unfazed. Until then, Nuki finds him, but a trade is instantaneous. Shados never going to let someone take a step further than he has to. And now we're down to three. Cordamenta, Evolver, and Kellogg's all roughly in the same place. No mid lurk, no late flank. This is all yeah. towards the site. Three on the back lines as well for Gambit. You still have that late lurk in Nats coming through middle, making sure no one's on that quick play, but Shados still Fight holds the line, eight. and he's still the only one on the side. Oh Shados! My. The guy's on today. Absolutely scything them down. Spike is now lost. He's going to just say, all right, well, you've got to get past me, Cold Mentor, and he's up for that challenge, Cold Mentor! Huge reply. Middle, and that pick just came in towards A. This kind of paints a picture of G2's intentions. And still, there's one player awaiting, and it is Chronicle. This could be dangerous. There's a swing from Red no God. Way, Chronicles man. capitalized. This is huge. Gambit still finding so much value. Look at Nats. How has he gone here? But there's still potential. Still hope. Still a chance. Shados fancies none of what I'm trying to sell. It's called a mentor called upon again. But this time it's Chronicle to say that? no. And Mixwell have been here for the majority of the round so far. 45 seconds left. Recon going to come through. If I've got to be careful. Perfect. Couldn't adjust. Kellogg's lovely, lovely entry. Needs a bit more though. Wants that space. Chronicle gets denied. He's is he pushing through that. They are. They are brazen in this. They're still trying to trade in on it. But look at the pistols coming out from G2. They have recovered at least one weapon. That's gonna be with Kellogg's now. Redgar trying to 
Deny. Nats, Nats finds man. Kellogg's. Oh, this is where it gets a bit problematic. Look at the HP. This was so good. This was such a great round. It's still a good round, I guess, technically. You want that close. Nookie and Coldamento. What more can you do? Coldamento's got Hunter's Fury here, so that's the plan. Nats, Viper's Pit, if he wants to try and isolate one of them, but Coldamento. I am pretty close by, and actually Nuki gonna find one with the operator, but the snake bite yes. will trade out here. Now does Coldamen to push through? One HP. He's on it. He's trying to work around this. Taps the spike. Coldamenta waiting patiently. It's a <gasps> match of nerves here. Coldamenta checks again. Nothing. He knows he's reading it so well, but this could all still be undone. Coldamenta might have just so done well this played. so perfectly. He didn't even need the Hunter's Fury. He has played the other ultimate, Nats' ultimate, to perfection. And Nats knows you're going to have to bow down on that one and take the hit. A little bit better. Interestingly enough, and again, oh, as I say that, Defo actually going to get caught up a little bit on the duel there with Kellogg's. That's in place to trade it out, but down to 85 HP, no armor remaining. And the Hunter Fury perfectly lines up to catch Nats on the first, the second. He's here, all he can do is roll his eyes there. Shados will get the res off anyway. Still in a 4v4. See, yeah, have over. A bit of parkour, we'll get the res back up for Kellogg's as well. What a champion. No need to go for it. Fancy our chances, but maybe Chronicle fancy something else. Snooki's now gone down. If he finds another individual fight, I'm worried. He's going to at least see one. Knows one's planting. He's painting together this picture in his mind. Cold Amenta. There it is. It's actually yeah. mixed well in middle with a lovely lurk. Beautiful timing. Shados with a stunner of a shot, but plenty of targets here. Nats has found mixed well. It's a 2v2. G2. Kind of... When are you digging your heels in, boys? This shouldn't have gone dangerous, and now it's getting a little worrisome. Kellogg's going to just dash across. Well played. He does get his chance on this, and timing's going to be everything. G2 on that boiling point, about to push towards the site, and actually it's Shados to find Mixwell. I thought he had no that way. one, but it's Defo towards Nookie as well. Effective trades for Gambit so far, but the site's still under pressure, and the spike should be able to go down. Kellogg's better get his gun out, because he ain't alone here. Plenty of players around and plenty of targets. Shados up above, has a look at Kellogg's great positioning. Oh, it's gone! Redgar! B, so that's going to be under wraps, but the response from G2 is straight up middle anyway. They are full standing. This is not too much patience to this. This is actually quite pacey from them, and now they've got to be careful. Defo's watching this actual one. <laughs> Notes the spike as well, dropping off of over. Pops the ult up and over we go, but the ult popped on the other side. Mixwell going to live it. Mixwell. <laughs> Considered it for a moment. Yeah, he was thinking. It. But the spike is down next to Orange. Guess kind of leaning in Gambit's favor, but Cold Mental <laughs> will find another. Brings it to a 3v3. Mixwell's ultimate could become a big, big swing point here for G2. If they're able to stabilize. Oh, they're pushing. I love this response. Oh, it's Defo is. and Nats are going to slip behind this. Look, he's up top as well. This timing's great. Does he pull the trigger on the first? He does. He, he actually chose to, but left. did he spot called a mentor? I'm not sure if he did, he knows now though. Coldamenta keeps this one at least viable. Keep in mind that Mixwell was still holding towards that B side. They now know that they must have pushed that up. They must have had to put yeah. together this concept. But Nats, he's still there, still showing presence, and it's on Mixwell. Hey, the man of experience <laughs> has to get this. Two right, snake well, bites. It's a 1v2. Two it, snake bites a wall. I, I'm liking this for Mixwell, honestly. Yeah, but he wants that pick. He wanted that yeah. pick so badly. Yeah. He was trying to play the timing on it, and I, I don't even blame him. No. If you're in a 1v2, you kind of you kind of want to try. No subtlety to it either. And Avova's having none of it. <laughs> we'll find one. Kellogg's actually gets tagged up as well as Swing comes Excuse through. Me? Nookie! Yeah. We'll Excuse find me? three kills in mid. Oh, mid. Okay. He How's he walked mid? How on earth did he just walk mid? Well, I guess it's deathmatch, starting control, but a quick play up the middle as well. Can't ignore it. Nat's just going to walk this. Dude, this is nuts. Nats could catch him. He's absolutely caught him with his pants down. Cold Amenta just chilling out in the old drone, but it is going to be traded back into. So Nookie's instantly dealt with that as well. So not a bad trade, and maybe a gun to be upgraded too, but we'll have to wait and see as it's now down to three. Mixwell, Nookie, and Avova. Gambit. Should be picking this up, but G2 have something else to say. Defo trying to cross a little early, and it's actually Avova to punish. No utility on the cross, no one to really pressure Avova off that angle. And of course they're going to be a bit fruity, a bit aggressive. They're working with lesser weaponry. Why not take those fights? I think Chronicle just spotted Mixwell here. Nookie's actually going to walk at the same time, and look at this. G2 turning this one back in their favor with another kill. We'll get the plant down. 
But again, look at the post plant here. <laughs> well, doesn't even get started. Red guard going to be found. Nookie on the flank. D2 now. Amazing. Uh, convert around the... I, I got to say, I'm fine with Nats finding that kill. But it's uncharacteristic to not see a second layer to that. There's no trade in place, right? Nats is kind of then out on an island and it's probably just yet you can see them considering it chronicle now takes that step across the line towards the sign it's actually going towards nest now there's a problem on the side it was called a mentor but he's been found by defo it's mixwell who's been the critical piece in this and he's still Again. finding such value this man has got a motive this time he is truly pushing g2 forward as nats and shados they ain't the players that are normally going to be close by to this and that's you. Is that Nats? Yes, it was Nats retrieving the orb. So Viper's yeah. Pit will be available here. Uh, as I say that, Shados goes wandering. He's going to walk okay, about. Nats. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> sure, but of course that's neither here nor there as we are back underway. And speaking of, he's gone a little aggressive. He might be feeling himself here. And why not? If you've got that hot hand, if it's all lining up, put him down. Mixwell. Just controlling, staying large and in charge, and he's expecting that next player, but he's going to fall away. Just makes it away in time, but he'll be just fine, and he's even looking for it again. I like this this version of Mixwell. If we get the spicy Mixwell, I'm happy. <laughs> he was now, uh, I mean, recoverable, yes. Find a kill, but they won't. Nats will land the headshot, but also, even with 5 HP, and we'll get the Raheel now, but... Also the second, actually. Rick are still able to isolate that one. But at this point, it is more of just a filling out of the form as G With the economy being so delicate for Gambit, <laughs> there's a lot lost out. What do they do coming into this? That's, that's the first thing that's worked on this half. First round in this half. And match up towards middle to an extent. Both players playing patiently, but it's Chronicle to find Mixwell. So that's already a bit of an issue to be found here. Yeah, this Obova is... Obova wants to clear this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There it is. Good work from Obova. Okay, straight back in towards Nats. We're back at a 4v4, and this BP still slowly coming out from Gambit. Hold tight for the time being as Kellogg's and Cold are meant to keep an eye on... Actually, Shados Kellogg's. nearly slipped through. Kellogg's escapes with his life, but actually... Shadow's going to pile on the pressure. We'll seal the deal, find another kill. Got a mentor now. Last hope, and he will fall. Kellogg's does get revived, though. G2 now in a 3v4. Kellogg's has the Bait Storm now, though. After that death. Possibility here, because the Operator's difficult to find something with. Are these post plants... Oh, but, excuse me. Excuse um, me, someone, someone, someone. No, 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 uh, please, okay. someone don't... Oh. Side and Chronicle going to be quite towards the front of this. 25 seconds, falls away, gives up. Short and Shower now being pressured as well. Chronicle low on the dip back through with that crossfire the Defo is creating. It's the ghost in Defo's hands that's doing the work. Is Shados now going to pick up the mantle that was left towards you all? But look at this shutdown as soon as they took the flash and on G2's buy round. That's uh, Gambit finding the first. Defo, nice little jiggle peek on this falls away. Quick flash. Ooh, the flash actually works. The one it. way. Yeah, oh the my. one way's beautiful on it as well. I think that flash just kind of was on the corner as well. It wouldn't have gone far enough to even catch him, but he was so ready for it regardless. And now the 4v3, Kellogg's is low, so everything's looking a little bit dangerous with Red got landing shots like this. Can he stay alive? Live HP. <laughs> Squeaky bum time, I believe, is the official term for that. And now there's problems between Kellogg's and Avova. Can they get another player out of this? Seconds left. I don't, they can get a spike plant. Okay, and Kellogg's is the one to try and defend this playback spike three. Planted. Well, Master on a spec up. You see Kellogg's is actually going to play deep enough to protect that weapon now. That's important. Gambit might not anticipate. Especially low HP on Kellogg's. Somebody playing this close. Flash comes through, avoids it perfectly, finds the first, but Nats will trade it through. Good trade. And still a good trade, but it's over. This man is clutch seen him win so many of these but Nats is still standing 40 HP goes first happy to take the attention but over the patience pays dividends and look at him the showers but can't really do much about this Nats that's really <gasps> come no. off it come the off adjust. it you get kill looks like that unbelievable stuff but they've given up a lot of space on the site so it's a bit of a trade out showers control but then gonna give up U-Haul well here Shados will get one flashback Vogel's position will be noted 
the spike is stuck outside showers here. Shadow finds it. They spike have the info now. A. They can That's literally hold. Back. There it is. Information one's close, but yeah, they are being closed in on. This isn't going to be easy to hold, so but Nat bails him out with even another. This is very impressive work. Now, the two that remain, Nookie and Mixwell, left. not in completely complimentary positions. Bear in mind that Nookie does have the judge. Flash goes in. Mixwell wants to work off the back of it. Nat denies man. big positioning from him. He has been perfect this round as Nookie did at least get the upgrade towards a right ball, and Nat could not care less. That was the perfect round from him. Nookie's going to try and take the space back, right? This, this is all he can do. This is what he has to do. He's done it well enough to find Chronicle, but there's still problems aplenty. You've still got that Showers position coming out as well. Still a player towards Heaven. Nookie going to try and clear that potential. Just going to send this in. It's Death, oh, who's still alive. And he's going to have to give his hand up. He has to show a little too much as Avova's going to put him oh, down. Trade real quick, real snappy. 4v3, though. Numbers do favor G2. And Nookie's still trying to be a nuisance on this retake to regain that space. Flank coming through though as well, and with that kill, Mixwell still what? on short. Last Nat's red guard, red guard again with the Guardian. It's just Kellogg's to recover this here, and he loses out to Nat's. Gambit oh. again in the retake. I feel as though we're getting more ascent than Icebox. But I've just seen a retake like two through Hooker. We've got Nat's peeking it, Defo controlling shower again. It's just going through the, the checklist of things that make Gambit tick at this point, but that's a big loss. Nat's now going down to Nookie. Actually could open up some space for once. Shadow's going to feel the pressure here, and he actually will get tagged from the Hunter's Fury as well, so G2 perfectly aware of where he is. 37 HP will escape. And Seekers popped in response. Now, a little bit of dead information, because it's all going to filter out through Hookup. I'm pretty sure Shadow's going to work that one out for himself, so it will stall for a few seconds at least. And the Owl Drone again, Shadoff's oh. happy to stay here, and he's going to get wall banged on the back of that, yeah. Redgar responds, but down, three more members of G2 to deal with. Yeah, but remember, 2v3 retake. Maybe. <laughs> oh, 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 this is so good. They're buying time for this flank to come in. Oh, Chronicle couldn't quite get it towards Coldamento. I really thought there was something to that, but this might be the step that's too far, but... Redgar looks like he wants to give it a damn good try. Ordemented towards Hooker, you got one towards Sight, and one tucked up towards Long. Yeah, none of them are going to give him an easy fight on this. No. This post plant is is even potentially beyond what they could achieve, and it is. Nookie there to shut it down, and G2 dealing with the adjustment for once. That was a little bit of a different look there, the aggression. Huh. Oh. Oh. This way in there, just maybe still considering the possibility, but... Tadoff still gets the better of him. Every time I look at Red Girl's picture, I expect to see a liquid jersey and, you know, a bit of a more cold Amenta style haircut gone. when I see a judge in hookah, but it isn't to be. <laughs> Red Girl gonna post himself up. Ooh, does he get away with this? So a lot of players here. We do some serious oh my God. nasty work. What is this? What is this space he's found? Flash in. Oh, the timing that time just a second away. It could have been perfect. It's not, but Nats is perfect in the way he's playing this already. The flash could come around towards the site. It's Mixwell, and it's only Mixwell. Nats there. This is this is beautiful work for Gam. Curve that in towards Octagon. Oh my Defo. God. Jesus. Avova just got clothes lined out of the air. Quick flash comes in. Now Mixwell wants to pressure. He wants to chase that down. He's going to take the space for it, but Chronicle just instantly puts him to bed. Chronicle has just destroyed this round for them. Mixwell was just a footnote in that story. That was... Uh, well. Oh, that's an, that's an adjustment. I mean, Avova got pressured a couple of times now from this aggressive play, so I'm sure he's been almost beaten into having to keep that in mind. It's slowed down some of these pieces coming out, but maybe a springboard off the back here. Ultimate invested, but Chronicle's just going to line him up. It's like a bowling alley. He's only going to get a couple of tags. Didn't quite get it wanted, but chip damage and confirmation of intention is good enough for now, and they sit quite deep on this. It looks like, at least in this moment, Gambit are going to take a second or two and once again go into that retake that they are so good at. Man, disadvantage for them, but that hasn't meant much previously. This time, G2 put heavy focus towards Lamps here. Cosmic Divide in response, but there's so many bodies ahead of that. Nookie will find Shados immediately, but a Shock Dark going to do a lot of damage. No kill, actually, but look at this now. Chronicle and Nat fighting Bloody their way hell. back through. 
and they're in just perfect synergy with each other at this point. Kellogg's can only get one of the two. Chronicle still stands, as does Redgar, but can they draw the final man? Golden Mentor holds his nerve and holds another round for G. That's it. But again, first time in a few rounds actually going to fight for Shower's control. They lost stop though by the Astro Utility. And actually, Golden Mentor finds Redgar. That's uh, an overstep on the back of that. Utility invested in showers, actually. Uh, uh, maybe Redgar thought that there was going to be a gap for him to slip through. But it's punished by G2. But we, I was asking the question, you know, what does G2 adjust to get around no some word. of the Hold big on. benefits that Gambit have had recently, which was those entry picks off the back of aggression, and then those retakes. For now, they're actually doing incredibly well at that, but Defo is still alive. He still has control from the showers, at least to make this cross a problem for some utility to be invested just for him. His presence is that much and at this point still unable he wanted to capitalize on that you could see the intense uh, vision so close so many times now res comes out g2 back up to full fighting force here and defo just gets put down dragged out of the air as nats is your last man alive a 1v5 the first step may takes a little bit of damage but not too much no reason not to now it gets double tapped by the owl drone this is very unfortunate yeah just a matter of time before he falls, hopefully. Yep. Thank you. Goes down. Ooh. Don't think that was quite what they wanted with it. Defo's just going to have to go and dry. Yeah, that looked like a bit of a fun ball as Nookie's been given the absolute keys to the kingdom. Happy to sit and take the fight, but it is time for the 3v3. It's not over. It's not done yet. Health advantage heavily in favor of G2 here. Actually, Nat's. Did he just spot Mixwell on the cross? I'm not sure if he did actually. So unfortunately catches his own flash, he can't swing on the back of that, but Chronicle, Fine. a brazen attempt to get this spike down, and it will be punished by Mixwell. Good for the second as well. The third. Oh, the Menta picks up and G2. Uh, over. Hello? Is it oh! No way. It's a gift. It's a There's... gift from the gods, and he's gone the Oh, he didn't quite get away. If he got away with that. A bit trickier and Nookie seems very <gasps> Oh timing oh he my still god gets him. he still gets him gambit left to attempt a recovery on b side here cold Amenta, though gonna absolutely crush the dreams defo and chronicle full red guard will find one but he's got three more to find mixwell might even consider an upgrade here and no just the running gun himself a spot to work from we're gonna oh, uh, okay i thought hard clearing but that's will actually win that one. The Seeker's invested. Mixwell's position will be noted. Kellogg's on site too. The Gambit struggling to find this kill in showers. Shadoff will fall. Oh my god, he finds a second. Defo creeping through the smoke. Now, it's all down to Kellogg's, but Nats will deal with him. A 3v3 here. Nats is single-handedly trying to save this, but Mixwell is looking to completely destroy it. Redgar handles Mixwell, puts him down. Nookie and Coldementor. How do you deny it? How do you stop it? Sends it in blindly Five and it down, works. Eight. Redgar is denied and now problems begin to show. Left. Nat's waiting to see if anyone would dare. It looks like there is one on the way, and but Nookie's... timing not going to be close enough to do much about it. He's going to at least make the noise of it so they know the intention is shown. And now one through CT, one through Hooker, and Nat's is tucked on that site. Nookie starts to work in. No easy picks to be had. Coldham enter the first step forward. It's Nats now gone. Chronicle, what can you do about this? How does this tail end for you? It's already halfway. You've got to get a move on. You've got to get running. And he can't get the kill as well. He's seen enough. That should be the call for rotation to come over as well for Coldham enter. You can see off the back of that one trade of information, they actually might lean away from this just because of that oh, oh. pick. That's going to be temptation to continue this way. Let's see what Gambit do with this now. Coldham enter forced to pop the ult. No one's there. They've all lent away. This comes into the hands of the oh likes of Avova, Kellogg's. And Kellogg's position is nasty. Avova's going to see enough. Pulls it out, and Kellogg's now is closing the gap. Shados just looked away. Defo was unaware, but now the corner. He's got it to at least hold for now. He's trying to jiggle that peak. Try and pull someone away. Chronicle, he's come over as well. He's drawing so much attention here. The rotation's already come in. They've got their player on the side the now. This is... They, they, they can't get rid of him. He's being such a problem. Kellogg's is just living here. Rent free in their minds. Finally, Chronicle takes him down, but at Hunter what cost? Fury, though. We can literally sit back now, Lauren. Oof. Two members of G2 remain. Mixwell and Cold Amenta. And Chronicle can sit deep on this. Hap comes through. Uh, okay, thank you. I didn't want to see another one, that's for sure. Redgar now. 
looking to pile on the pressure. Mixwell will respond, but that's the Fury again. Not going to get any information. He'll get the tap. Defo will swing. Actually, Mixwell doing a lot of damage here. The operator will be lost on the side of Gambit. A red guard going to be pulled further forward and now 14 seconds time is a huge factor. Flash comes in. Noki goes on it. Full faith in the flash and why not? Now there is a trade up a time. Six seconds now. The clock is the biggest enemy. Um. Gellox is just trying to buy the time and there it is. Mixwell seals it but the clock had run down so late. G2 right place right time a little but maintains map control making them burn through that utility so early on. Defo. 15 HP. I have to reset and get this heal. pushing. Yeah. Uh, okay, it is punished. I say that actually, Shados has no heal. So he's 15 HP for the remainder here. Res available, so like Gambit kind of forced to end up on B here and difficult for G2 to retake that B long control if that's the case. Chronicle's still trying to bait out some presence towards A though and it will draw Cold Amenta. Now that's important. It's a Vova left to hold down B. First one, low yeah, HP. Yeah, another. Yeah, Shados will trade it though. Yeah, I thought Shados might have been in more trouble there yeah. with that barrel showing, but actually manages to keep his life. Now they're taking the site. All three other players for the opposition are towards A. First one taking the TP through. Spike now down. This would be a tough free take. That would have been the start that they could have really done with. But Redgar stays alive. 12 HP is not a lot, but it's enough to keep his life. Heart still beating in the chest. Cold Mentor and Kellogg's. <laughs> no one's, no one's going to be easy in this. It's those players creeping around are the problem. Now they've got issues on all fronts. Kellogg's has found Chronicle. And a 1v2. Kellogg's, how much time do you have on this? Not enough. Shados is there. And we info he got, but it's enough that uh, yeah. they at least know they're going to be here. Mixwell, though, does... 30 Very intuitively, left. use the utility to try and clear as he goes through. Chronicle's in a little bit of danger. Spike is now down. Mixwell coming back in through Hookah. Still, though, G2 quite close by. Cold Amenter never fully dipped away from this. Still trying to hold some presence. The ult doesn't find anyone. And wait, Defo. He's going to find one spot. It's a second! Defo! That's nastiness! He's an absolute reaper in this. Finding two and dragging them to their graves. Gambit! The slow patience pull of the rotations paid so heavily. This red guard gonna try and chase down Mix while well, there's the trade out and we are at 12. So they're gonna try and force the issue here. It's gonna be a brute force. On towards eight sites. 30 seconds. Red Guards found Mixwell, that's not a good beginning. Red Guards found Kellogg's, there is no safety for G2 to find. Gambit are tearing it away from them, now down to Nookie, called him entering of over. The rifle is gone, it's on the Spectres and that's about it. Spike gonna be just touched for a second, it's not gone down yet. This, this could still what? be pretty good Spike for over time though. 12 seconds, two more stand. Nookie's no found Red Guard, how is this happening? Deny the, oh my word, he's denied Last it for now. But now timing. You can't get it. Five seconds, I, I don't think he's got oh my God. three seconds on the plan, this is down to the the last couple of seconds he's got, he got it. it he's got hunter's fury nookie's 21 hp lauren oh my god he's just walking around oh he's just having a my god early attempt to get information it's drawn gambit towards a red guard now reconsidering Rotation. it yep g2 might be able to get ahead of the curve here Good utility to at least slow down the pace. Look at them, they're being halted for now. Another flash. They want to buy time. They Beautiful. want to set this into motion again. and it's happened again. That's going to be a flashback Nats, in their man. minds. Nats! This guy is filthy at what he does. Such a problem player and G2 have made nothing of this. They can't get through it down to just one and he's dead. Gambit decided to come Nats. back into oh. it. They started to find answers. G2 weren't able to kind of close this out, right? This was Gambit pulling it just back in after that mad run back from G2. Like, look at the trot of how these rounds have gone. That's four in a row now for Gambit. And we talk about comfort levels, right? G2 finding them. They tuned up. They changed things around. They're going to put that jet deep in towards lamps. That's Defo now kind of working away behind enemy lines. Clear comes in as well. I'm pretty sure that Astra is now noted of over is. The adjustment of pace has completely caught G2 unawares. Shados, Nats in combination, destroying that A hold. And now you've got Mixwell and Kellogg staring down the barrel of a gun. Teak is invested, we'll give away Kellogg's on the flank, give away Mixwell. They have got a lot to do to build back into the three take. Shados now actually holding the smoke here. Kellogg's good for one, good for the second here. There's no way, right, Lauren? It's a 2v2. 
And it's Mixwell and it's Kellogg's. I mean, everything could be possible. Kellogg's just spamming away, hoping for something. Mixwell gets given a chance, an opportunity, and it slips. Chronicle's got this one now. Kellogg's, it's a 1v2, and it ain't easy. He can't get it done. Chronicle!